let's say we have a circle with center O and we are going to plot four points on this circle A, B and C, D. Now we join points A and B and C and D to get two chords A, B and C, D. Remember, we do not have any information available for the lengths of these two chords. But let's say it is given to us that the angle subtended by the chords AB and CD at center O are equal, which you can see in the yellow markings. Now from this given information, what we want to prove is that the lengths of the chords AB and CD are equal. Now pause this video for a bit and think about the strategy which we can implement to prove that chords A, B and C, D are equal. Hmm. I see that chords A, B and C, D are the parts of two separate triangles here. Triangle O, A, B and triangle O, D, C. Now if I am able to prove that triangles O, A, B and triangle O, D, C are congruent, then I will be able to say that the corresponding elements chords AB and CD are also equal. Let's see if we can prove that triangles OAB and ODC are congruent. Look at the orange segments OB and OC, also the purple segments OA and OD. Now this information will help us build our proof. We can see that OA and OD are the radii of the circle and that's why these two segments are equal. Now to help our proof, we already know that angle AOB is given congruent with angle COD. Basically, these are the angles which these two chords AB and CD are subtending at the center. And now for the triangles that we see, another pair of segments are congruent. Segment BO is equal to segment CO. And these two are also red eye of the circle. And we notice that for the triangles AOB and DOC, two corresponding pair of segments and the angle sandwiched between them are all congruent. And so we can say that triangle AOB is congruent with triangle DOC by the SAS test of congruency. And so we are almost there. All we sometimes need to do is to prove that two triangles are congruent. And then we can always say that rest of the corresponding elements are also congruent. So what can we conclude? Yes, you guessed it right. We can conclude that the side AB is equal to side CD, which is nothing but the two chords that we drew at the start. And so we have proved the statement when two chords subtend an equal angle at the center, the two chords are equal.